Hello, folks. It is Sunday, June 4th. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon on the East Coast of the United States. In this short video, I'm going to talk about the suspension of the debt ceiling limit and what that might do for the price of gold. So yesterday, President Biden signed into law the Fiscal Responsibility Act of 2023. And so what he and his administration are deeming to be fiscally responsible is a complete suspension of the debt ceiling limit until January of 2025. Basically, they can spend as much money as they want for the next 19 months, and we won't have to talk about the debt ceiling limit again. So if we look at the prior suspension of the debt ceiling limit. That occurred between August of 2019 and July of 2021. That's a period of 23 months. During that period, the federal debt increased by $5.7 trillion. If we divide the $5.7 trillion by 23 months, we come up with $247.8 billion of new debt created every month. If we project forward for the next 19 months at this level of debt creation, we arrive at this figure, $4.7 trillion. So we can assume or predict that in the next 19 months, there will be an additional $4.7 trillion of debt which of course means they're going to print that many U.S. dollars <laughs> on their printing presses. So if we're having this conversation again in January of 2025, the national debt, federal debt, will be $36.1 trillion. Probably be a lot more than that, but <laughs> we'll see when we get there. So let's look at the performance of gold during that prior debt suspension. So we started in August of 2019 at 1418 an ounce. In July of 2021, gold had reached 1787 an ounce. So that's an increase of $369 during that 23 month period. Simple math again. We divide the 369 by 23. We get this $16 per month. So gold was increasing at a rate of $16 per month. If we project that forward for the next 19 months, we can assume or predict that gold will increase by $304 between today and January of 2025. And that will be a 21.4% increase. If we add the $304 to Friday's closing price, that was 1969, we come up with this price of gold, $22.73 an ounce. And so in this video, I am predicting that in January of 2025, gold will be at least $22.73 an ounce. Now let's talk about the mining stocks, since we're all interested in the mining stocks. Now we know that historically, when the physical metals rally, the mining stocks follow and tend to multiply the gains in the physical metal by a factor of two to three. So if we use the 21.4% increase, that's what we're expecting gold to do, and multiply that by two or three, we come up with these numbers, 42 and 64. So based on my methodology in this video, I'm suggesting that the mining stocks will rise in price by, by 42 to 64% between now and January of 2025. And that's all I've got in this video, folks. Just wanted to do that, that quick math as always, I encourage you to protect yourself with physical precious metals. Go to your local coin shop, grab some physical silver and gold. If you have retirement accounts, your tax advantaged accounts, and you want to protect them with physical precious metals, the only way you can do that is with a gold IRA. In the description below this video, you'll find a link to one of the gold IRA companies 
If you reach out to them, they will provide you with an investor kit and they will connect you with one of their representatives who can answer any question that you have. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, folks, and I'll talk to you in the next video.